Hey y'all, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. <laughs> this past weekend, we went to Vegandale. Now, if you don't know, Vegandale is a vegan food festival. And if it's vegan and it's got food and it's a festival, I'm gonna be there because I like eating vegan food. So Vegandale is once a year. It's usually in the fall when it comes to Texas. Um, this is our third time there. So out of all of my vegan dill experiences i have to say this is my favorite one and if you want to know why i suggest you stay tuned but before we get started if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe i'll wait i know i'm waiting on them to do what i asked them to do y'all my bad have patience those of you who already did it Now, Vegan Dell is happening right behind me. That's why I'm out here doing the intro because they are live up in there and I'm trying to get up in there to get this food. We're going to see some amazing vendors, try some amazing food. I'm going to check out Bellissima because they actually sponsored me today. So yeah, check them out because I did not know that they had vegan wines and spirits and stuff. So I'm about to go in and get a little lit. <laughs> but y'all come with me and let's have some fun. Let's go. First, we went to Nuno's Tex-Mex. Now, this is a vegan Tex-Mex style restaurant in Dallas, Texas. And we had his vegan chopped beef sandwich. It's like a seitan with the savory barbecue sauce and on like a toasted bun with pickles and onions. We also had his street tacos. We had three different style. I honestly don't remember all of them. I just know they was good. After that, we went to Top Jaw Sweets and they are in Jacksonville. They will be offering shipping nationwide December 1st. So get your little holiday trees ready, okay? And they are worth it. We already had one of the cookies so far and me and Marcus were damn near fighting over it. It was like one of my favorite cookies. So these are the ones we have left and then it has like the stuffing in there. You see how fat it is? You see how thick she is? It's okay, you ain't fat, you thick. Don't, we don't use harsh words, thick. Okay. After that, we headed on over to the Bellissima Prosecco tent. Now, my vegan deli experience was sponsored by them. They gave your girl VIP tickets. Skip the line tickets, even though everybody had VIP tickets. We, we need to work on that next year. But we went over and headed over to their tent and we both got the rosé sparkling wine. It was very good. That was like the best one I've had. They also offer sugar-free wines too. I didn't even know that they were vegan, y'all. They're all vegan. So definitely check them out. And thank you guys for sponsoring my vegan dough experience this year. And then after that, we went over to Steve's Sausage Shack. Now y'all know I got a list. So I have Steve's Sausage Shack. Sounds a little inappropriate. It does. Why did he do that? <laughs> See, I'm trying to be professional. You being nasty. I already feel uncomfortable saying it. <laughs> but Marcus got the Chicago style because they're from Chicago. I didn't get no sauce. You did. I saw you. You <laughs> tore it up. Yours is I, gone before mine. I don't know about all this. Yours I is. Didn't get no <laughs> so Marcus got the Chicago style. And I got the Obama. So I'm a Texas girl. So the Obama had chili and like caramelized onions on it and raw onions and cheese. All vegan, obviously. And then right after that, we went to Sarai Vegan, which is vegan Cambodian food. And she's located in LA. Her food was so good, y'all. We had a, like a rice bowl. So it had like this really good rice. The rice looked like it would have been plain, but it was seasoned to the gods. It was so good. It had vegan pork on it. And then she had um, like a, you know, the konjac root shrimp. And then the salad. Her salad looked like a regular salad, but I don't know what type of dressing she used. The dressing was amazing. I actually still have some of the rice in the fridge and a tiny bit of the pork. Yeah, we need to speed this along so I can finish my food and eat my cookies. Oh, but honorable mention to Troy and the team from TLC Vegan because they were right next to Stray Vegan and I wanted to try his food, but shoot, by the time we finished all the other stuff, I was full, but I do want to shout him out because he has such amazing food. You guys, you need to check him out in Richardson, Texas. Last but not least, 
Shroomlicious. Now they are from Memphis. I wanted to try her wings, but by the time I got to her, her law was wrapped around the pork. But I got some of her mushroom tacos and they did not taste like mushrooms at all. They were so good and it had like some type of crispy topping on them. I don't know what it was, but the sauce that she had in there, the flavors combined. I also got a Philly cheese steak. It was a mushroom Philly cheese steak, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get to try that. I gave it to my boys because they needed to go. And you know, I'm a mama and I was like, here. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, like I said earlier, subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. Don't you like me? You still here, so you must. Bye bye y'all, let me eat my cookies.